Welcome back for another episode of the Corporate Cowboys podcast. My name is Alex. Today is Saturday, May the 1st, May 1st, 2021. And, um, You might be wondering, why an episode on the weekend? Well, it doesn't really matter when I create one, so long as it is created, a sign of life gets published, and the record goes on, and the record continues playing. The record keeps recording. My progress, my growth, my development, and that of the organization's. Isn't that lovely? Powered by Incorporating Associates. You can find us on Instagram. The handle is at incorporating.associates underscore IA. I might have the punctuation backwards. Let me just double check. It's incorporating.associates underscore IA. Or you can just use the the, the profile name, it's Corporate Cowboys, and you'll find us, you'll recognize us. If you know us, then you owe us, kind of thing. <laughs> um, you want to donate to the podcast, by all means, keep it non-profit, keep it legal. You can shoot us something via mail if you want, P.O. Box 3372, Rancho Cordova, California 95742. That's P.O. Box 3372, Rancho Cordova, California, 95742. That's on the outskirts of the capital city of California. And it's checked intermittently. Uh, you can you can send a donation directly, either one time, or you can subscribe for a monthly issue, for a monthly deal, monthly issue. We we don't issue these things monthly. We issue these things weekly or more than once a week, depending on my feelings, depending on how I feel. Uh, on Patreon, you can find us and subscribe there. It's the Corporate Cowboys podcast. Uh, you can listen to the podcast just about anywhere that they're published. Don't have any uh, bonus material, any premium material as of yet. We don't have enough subscribers to incentivize us. We don't have enough premium subscribers to incentivize us. But by all means, by all means, uh, as soon as as soon as it reaches a level that um, that we're receiving significant requests for material for opinions for content if you will because the content that we create now that's just conversations that takes place between myself and other associates uh some who are in the inner circle some who who run and affiliate with corporate cowboys um you can venmo me directly alex underscore coco those go towards uh living expenses and legal fees it's just a form of indemnification if you will again keeping the whole thing non-profit keeping the white papers clean you can send it via cash app also that's dollar sign corporate cowboys paypal dot me slash corporate cowboys fuck it let's talk about review day did that cause some stress on your weekend did i just fuck your weekend up talking about review day have you been performing well we're talking about performance reviews and yes i get it it's may some associates are still in school some associates are working diligently the nine to five or the nine to six or the eight to six however long you have to work with the lunch hour or the lunch half hour in between See, in life, there is no, there is no do-over. There is no uh, fucking <laughs> great reset. There is no fucking reset. You, you can't do, you can't do over. You can't go back to the beginning. You cannot. You fucking cannot. Even as a people, even collectively, as a society, as a civilization, you want to get reset? <laughs> you want to get reset? 
come and talk to me. I can reset your ass. I can set you up to get <laughs> to get reset. <laughs> nah, but a restart? Yes. A restart? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. No, it's not. It's not yes, we can, motherfucker. I've been started. I've been gotten started. I'm doing. I'm doing. But if you're fucking up, if you're fucking up and you think you're getting away with it, if your performance review looks good, but you know deep down inside you're performing like shit, homie, you still have the option to restart. You still have a chance to start again. You still have a chance to start and climb. Some folks do the most. Some folks do the most to get away with doing the bare minimum. Personally, I think it, it, it costs a lot more. I think you expend more time, you expend more effort, you expend more energy dodging responsibility and trying to take and trying to take credit for it because it becomes the objective becomes putting your name on something that you haven't done. And then in the future, if you get called on it, having to stand up for it, having to protect it, having to back it, having to vouch for it, because you put your name on the fucking line. And if you didn't do the work, if you don't know what went into it, your bitch card can get pulled. I'll pull your fucking bitch card and I won't hesitate to. That shit's fucking fun. Watching motherfuckers squirm. <laughs> Motherfuckers who think they can run with the idea and do none of the work. I get it. If you know what goes into the work and you just, you know, outsource some of the legwork and 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 you are the face, I suppose similar to what I'm doing now, but you have to know how to manage people. You have to know how to manage projects. And when I talk about management, it's really just networking. It's just networking. I'm I'm no better than anybody else. I might try and create leaders out of other people. You might say I'm leading leaders, but when you're working with a team of leaders, you already know where the delegation is going. I, I personally do not have to delegate anything. I work with straight hitters who already know what they signed up for. They already know what I came to them for. They already know why I need them. And yeah, it's a need. N-E-E-D. I fucking need them. And at the same time, I want to be working with them. I've already vetted them. I've already gauged. I've already gauged their moral compass, their tenacity, their propensity to either fuck up or come through. To either fuck up or come through and pull their weight. That's why they're in. That's why they're in. And that's why you're in. That's why you got hired. That's why you got recruited. Otherwise, I wouldn't be performing this fucking outreach for no reason. Corporate wouldn't be performing any sort of outreach, any sort of recruitment, if they didn't think that you were worthwhile, that they would be receiving some form of benefit from you that's why they pay you that's why you get paid if you don't negotiate for a higher pay it's because you undervalue yourself and that's a whole other episode on how to value yourself how to value your time how to value your time as an investment no i don't believe that if you work if you work a fucking minimum wage job that you own part of the corporation, that sounds fucking retarded as shit. Sounds folks try to file that under communism. I don't believe it. I don't believe it is. I think it's something fucking stupid. Obviously, they have enough positions where they can use that line on you where you're not doing your work. I got a whole, I got a line of, of people around the corner. I have a line of people around the corner who will kill for your job. Uh, dollar says you don't. <laughs> dollar says you won't find anybody like me. Dollar says you won't find a hustler, a worker, an employee who puts 
I'm not going to say puts their life on the line because I'm not killing for you yet, right? Might might I die for this job? It honestly depends how well you pay me. It depends how well you pay me. It depends what the benefits are. Will I kill for this work? I don't even trust you like that. Well, this is a conversation that a prospective employee should be having with themselves before they get hired on. And these large corporations, yeah, they have many, many inlets into their organization at the store level, at the entry level, at the very bottom of the ladder, at the lowest rank. Let's say you're working at a fast food spot, at a fast food joint. I'm not naming names. They have more positions available as a fry cook, as an order taker, as a burger flipper, then they have openings available for management. Makes sense. No, that should be obvious. You only need one, two, maybe three managers, depending on the size of the store. And maybe one, two, maybe three assistant managers, depending on the size of the store. On the, on the size of the crew, on, on the number in the crew, on the number of employees you have to manage throughout a given shift, throughout a given day, throughout a given week, ad infinitum. Ad infinitum? Ad infinitum? Ad, ad infinito. I'm taking a little drink. Try this one on for size though. When performance reviews come up, you have to ask yourself, what have you done? What have you kept track of? What do you have a record of that shows that you're an ace in the hole? That you're worth the raise. And I don't mean just the cost of living raise. I mean something you can throw down on the table. Because if if what you do is get hired just to quote unquote get in. And I've done so many times. Yo, I just need some straight money on the books for this tax year. So I'm going to go and get myself some low level paying job. And if I like the place, maybe I'll stick around. Put in a little bit of work. Do my dirt. Record it, keep it recorded, save somebody's skin one time or twice, usually a manager. You want to position yourself to save the manager's skin. Obviously, you don't want to create a crisis in your own organization because then it's just a waste of time. You can fool your managers, but you cannot fool your coworkers. All right? So don't fuck up. You're working with me. Do not fuck up. Do not try and set the manager up under my watch because now I represent this organization and you want to become the opposition inside of this organization, you will be eliminated. That's that's the kind of mentality you got to carry with yourself. You choose to sign on the line, you better be ready and willing to kill for money. Hmm. Hmm. Imagine that. In God we trust. They trusted you with the work in order to pay you. And you trust them to pay you and provide you with the check. You might be saying, Alex, this sounds so simple. This sounds so basic. Listening to you makes me feel retarded. Everything you've just said, oh, hold on, how's that, how's that line go? Everything you just said, well, I mean, it's not completely false. These aren't falsehoods that I'm saying, so I'm going to stop that quote. But it's so simple, it's so basic, it's fundamentally, it's fundamentally correct. It's the truth. It's the fucking truth. Why else would you leave your home? Why else would you leave the safety of your home armed or unarmed? I don't fucking know what you EDC. Why else would you leave the safety of your home to go and work for someone else in order so that they might provide for your livelihood, right? Because you can't, I mean, we can't 3D print a hamburger yet. 
We can't 3D print a fucking meal just out of thin air. I don't see anybody 3D printing steaks and potatoes. Not yet. Shit ain't happening. So you got to go out and entrust somebody with your time that they will manage you. They will be able to manage your time for you and pay you for it. You are giving yourself up to corporate. You're leasing yourself. And you have to be cognizant of it. You have to acknowledge that fact. That's why a, a lot of, I'm not going to say a lot of youth, but a lot of individuals say like, oh, I'll never work at fucking McDonald's. Uh, fucking, that's not worth my time. Well, these motherfuckers aren't even producing, aren't even making $10 an hour without a job. Like if you could hustle up tw 10, 20, $50 an hour without working at McDonald's, that's power. That's power to you, right? And there's folks who do it. There's some who do it legally and some who do it not legally. But you have to start somewhere. You have to start putting in the work somewhere. You want to belong in corporate. You have to make yourself valuable to somebody somewhere. And usually, that's your manager. When performance review day rolls around, obviously, you want a positive review. Obviously, you want the raise that comes with it. But it's not automatic. It is not automatic. If you don't ask for it, if you don't know how to ask for it, because you aren't begging. You aren't begging. You know your time is worth more than minimum wage. Almost everybody knows this. Some motherfuckers aren't even worth minimum wage. Some motherfuckers are worth 230 grains of fucking copper jacketed lead. That's all they're fucking worth. One round. <laughs> But you, knowing you're worth more, knowing that you are working more, knowing that you are earning your stripes and putting in that work, you got to know how to ask for it. That's why you want to position yourself. Not to get cozy, not to get chummy with management, but to show them that you can save the skins, you can save the bacon, you can do the work, you know how to work a shovel, how to work a pick, you can hide bodies. You can hide theirs if it came down to it. And that's what I mean by saving the bacon. Obviously, you don't want to set them up unless... Well, that, that's a whole nother fucking episode and I got to cut this one short. You don't want to set them up unless they are in a... Um, unless they are in a exclusive... Hold on, hold on. Unless they create for themselves an exclusive circle of preferential treatment and we'll unpack that later but if they create for themselves an exclusive circle of preferential treatment like they they treat their best employees like shit and prefer to treat their worst employees and promote them and you just have a fucking hierarchy of sh shit incompetent management then I can walk you through. <laughs> I can walk you through on how to fix that. Because good people don't need to be fixed. Bad people. Bad people cause a system to have to be fixed. And it, we aren't necessarily fixing the system. The system works. We're just fixing to take care of people. Like a manager would. <laughs> have a nice weekend.